Hello! Welcome to Preservation Virginia's Coal Digs House. My name is Jennifer Hurstwinder and I'm the Director of Museum Operations for Preservation Virginia. And this photo that you're looking at is of the Coal Digs House in the 19th century. So we're going to talk a little bit about the history um, of this home. Um, but I'm going to take you outside for a moment to talk to you about a couple of the architectural changes that have happened over time to this house. And one of those things that this house is known for uh, is this beautiful veranda right here. And just this time of year, of course, the, the wisteria is blooming, it smells marvelous, and it looks gorgeous. So this house was completed by 1810 when it first shows up into the mutual assurance policy. And the house was constructed for a gentleman named Cole Diggs. And he served in the Revolutionary War. He was one of the first Virginia uh, light dragoons. So he was a cavalryman, he rode a horse. And then by, um, by the Virginia ratifying convention, he shows up in Richmond as one of the um, 89 I votes. Uh, just so you know, there were 80 no votes uh, to ratify the Constitution in the Commonwealth of Virginia. So Cole Diggs ends up purchasing the land um, and constructs this house. It looks a little bit different. Um, as you can see from that photo, um, the top portion of this right hand side where you see the, the uh, two story, one window right on top of the other. Uh, that second story is a much later addition. But even the bottom story started out as a porch. And this veranda didn't end up getting put on until 1858. So by 1813, this house is purchased by David Bullock. Now he's twice mayor of Richmond and he lives here until 1827, but it remains in Mayor Bullock's family until 1847 um, when the entire half block, and now if you could imagine um, the entire half block being sold, it was sold to a Joseph Allen, and then by 1858, uh, it was purchased by Dr. Robert Archer. Now Dr. Archer ends, off, ends up selling off the side yards so here and over there. And he moves what used to be this porch and closes the first part of it. And it's under Dr. Archer that this veranda becomes the, the front of the house. So Dr. Archer's granddaughter, Mrs. Andrew Christian, acquired the house in 1903. And Mrs. Herbert Claiborne, Mrs. Christian's daughter, and wife of the noted restoration contractor on authority on Virginia's brickwork, sold the house in 1954 to Tucker Sanatorium. Are you ready to take a peek inside? We'll go ahead and go in. So here's our foyer. Like I mentioned, when the, uh, the house was first constructed, these two rooms, this room right here, and this room right over here, uh, would have been the original porch to the house. And those are part of a mid 19th century addition. Now, according to the National Register for Historic Places, these two are original rooms, and this room over here um, has some of the earliest woodwork in the house. Now there's a lot more to talk about in here. We'll go ahead and take a peek at these stairs. So these stairs are original to the construction. Um, and they are what is known as a dog leg stair. Uh, you can see just kind of goes all the way up to that second floor, but this little bit right here is the dog leg portion. And it was in 1993 that Preservation Virginia ended up purchasing this house and doing some much needed 
preservation and restoration work, and it's been our headquarters ever since. Hope you enjoyed this and look forward to more videos uh, from Preservation Virginia.